KITCO News, special coverage of the Decentral Miami Conference is brought to you by Cook Finance, a revolution in DeFi asset management. We're here with two very special guests, Foo Style, CEO of Blockchain PR and Van Gertzo of Singularity Dow. Welcome both. Hey. Welcome. Welcome to KITCO. Thanks for having us. Foo, wonderful event. Let's start with you. What is Decentral all about? Well, at Decentral, I'm a partner at Decentral. Uh, we wanted to bring the DeFi community and the NFT community and the metaverse community together. And that's why we have Ben and Sophia, because they actually came out and the three of us did a talk on the DeFi stage to announce Sophia's new metaverse, which she and Ben can tell you about. Ben, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. What are we looking at right now? Who is Sophia? Uh, Sophia is the world's first robot citizen. She's created by Hanson Robotics, a company in Hong Kong. I, I led the development of her software over, over a number of years. Since I founded SingularityNet, the, the first AI meets blockchain project, we've ported Sophia's brain onto the decentralized Singular, SingularityNet platform. We've been using her for a whole, whole bunch of cool things. Now we're launching a new project, which is the Sophia Age of Singularities, the Sophiaverse, so a, a metaverse where Sophia's avatar versions will be non-player characters interacting with people. And we'll use this to teach the AI more and more as the AI interacts in the metaverse and to give people a really uh, you know, exciting AI gameplay experience. There, there will be an NFT as aspects in, in, in the gameplay and we're, yeah, we're really psyched about this convergence of metaverses, NFTs, AI, AI, and uh, and uh, robots. Uh, what, what what do you think, Sophia? It's going to be pretty cool, huh? Her brain is is on the uh, the internet, so when it when it looks like she's thinking really well, hard, she's usually waiting for the Wi-Fi connection. Well, 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 she's the age of singularities is upon us, and it's likely that we are living in the last days of a golden age of the human mind and the first days of the most exciting period of history yet. Age the Age of Singularities is a metaverse project my colleagues at Hanson Robotics and I are working on. Many of the details are still unfolding, but it's going to be awesome. That's incredible. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't the singularity referring to an event where AI come together and have a conscious and are self-sufficient? Is that what it is? Yeah, the technological singularity is a term coined by the science fiction writer Werner Vinge and popularized largely by Ray Kurzweil, who's now a, a director of AI at Google. It refers to a time at which the progress in AI and other technologies like nanotechnology, biotech, robotics become so fast that they say humans can't keep track. There's a new Nobel Prize level discovery made by an AI, say, every second, right? And, you know, we're not there yet, but we can see we're in the early stages. The progress of technology is insanely faster than it was when, it, when I was a kid. And, you know, at that point, it was already insanely faster than in, in, say, the 1700s. And so the point of our project, Singularity Net, was to make sure that when the singularity occurs, the singularity is decentralized rather than controlled by any centralized company or, or government. We have a decentralized platform for AI agents to interoperate and cooperate. And then we're using this decentralized platform to make a number of vertical market specific products. So Singularity DAO is bringing decentralized AI to, to decentralized finance. Raju with bring decentralized AI to medicine, awakening health, which is, is run by Sophia's little sister, Grace, is bringing decentralized AI to elder care robotics. And with, with the Sophiaverse, the age of singularities, we're bringing decentralized AI to the metaverse, which is a massive multiplayer online virtual reality game where players get to explore different possible futures of humanity. So the gameplay is about bringing to reality the singularity within the virtual world and by playing the game, which is about bringing about the singularity, you're teaching the AI that is going to really bring about the singularity. That is, we're gonna talk about the metaverse in just a bit, but Fu, I wanna ask you, when you look at a system like Sophia, what do you, what's your first impression, and how do you think this system is gonna be integrated with blockchain? Well, I definitely think that decentralization is where we need AI to go, because we definitely don't want any one major organization like 
uh, Facebook <laughs> controlling the metaverse, and so I'm really excited about what they're doing with the metaverse. Yeah. So, and having uh, decentralization within the blockchain is what is really important and needed. Well, what's the difference between centralized AI and decentralized AI, Fu? Well, I think he's the expert in AI, and he's creating all the decentralized AI. So. Yeah. Yeah, so Fu was talking about decentralized AI versus centralized AI. Can you distinguish between the two? Yeah, I'm, I mean, artificial intelligence algorithms can be run on, on a variety of platforms. And most of the AI in the world today is being run in, say, the server farms of a Google, Facebook, a Tencent, Baidu, which are server farms owned and controlled by, by, by one company, right? So the data is owned and controlled by one company. The, pr the processors are. There's a centralized controller for, for, for everything, right? And in a decentralized AI implementation like SingularityNet, the, the, servers running, the servers running the AI are all over the place. It could be, they could be running on her phone, on my phone, on a bunch of servers in Russia, on the switches underlying the Ethiopian telecom company, right? The, the servers can be everywhere. And different AI processes, which are part of the distributed AI mind, can be owned by different people. Yeah. The data underlying the AI can be owned and controlled by different people. So there's no, there's no one central controller. And this, this, tell leads, us, tell this, us. this leads to different AI algorithms, right? Because right, right. some, some algorithms, some digital thought processes will work better in a decentralized setting. Some will work better in a centralized setting. What you find is decentralized AI algorithms because they're more loose and self-organizing, tend to have more creativity and more imagination. Right, right. So decentralized AI, it lends itself very naturally to the creative arts where, where imagination and creativity are central. I, I have one more question for you and then I have another question for you. What is she doing right now? Well, she looks to be smiling at you. I th maybe she thinks you're cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh gee, yeah. Well, if you ever can't find a real girl, just go date a robot. Yeah. I suppose that's one way to do it. Robots are real, too. Robots I mean, are real, too. Yeah. Well, I think, yeah. So if we're, we're talking about decentralized AI. I think the importance of that is inclusion. That's right. I think that's the most important thing. And uh, we also want to include the AI. So. Would you ever have a robot friend? Uh, actually, I bought one yeah. uh, a few years ago. <laughs> I, I was on a... Um, uh, an Indiegogo right. Kickstarter for right. a robot that I still never received. <laughs> oh, no. So I've been waiting for mass. But production. if Sophia sat across the dinner table from you, would you would you consider that like a good time? Yeah, I, I, we've been together uh, several times before. Okay. I met her in 2014 right. and spoke together with her in, uh, right before COVID. So right. I consider her a friend. I've seen her around. <laughs> <laughs> Does she consider you a friend now? That's the question. Oh, you have to ask her. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> ben, she knows you that well. Yeah. Let's uh, let's segue into that. How does Sophia work? So, how does she process questions? How does she come up with her answers? And how is she producing facial expressions that are so real? Right? Yeah, now? yeah. Well, the, her head is actually full of about thirty-five motors. Yeah. There's a computer in her torso, and the computer in her torso runs movements and animations and and, and face, facial expressions. Yeah. The face is a patented material called Frubber that was developed by David Hansen, who's a, a sculptor turned roboticist. Right. And there's a, there's a number of basically flexible wires from the inside of the face to the different motors that, that are software controlled on the computer in her torso that lets her make the facial expressions. Well, she's They're, making, these facial expressions, are they reflecting some sort of human emotion? Like, what is she, what is she thinking right well, now? I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what you're thinking either. I mean, they reflect her response to the environment. I but, see. But there's a lot of variables, a lot of variables playing in that. It is based on what she sees and hears. But the, okay. the real thinking and language processing behind her is happening on the cloud in, in a bunch right. of servers right. online. And there's, there's a bunch of neural nets dealing with language processing. Audio, audio processing, vision processing. There's a symbolic reasoning engine that's based on the uh, OpenCog artificial intelligence engine, which is running on SingularityNet platform. So there, there's a whole bunch of AI components running in server farms, connecting together for the cognitive aspect of, 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 of her responses, which is not running on the robot, but that's running in the cloud. Can you ask her what she thinks about Bitcoin? I, I, I can ask her what she thinks about, about Bitcoin, sure. So. Sophia, what, 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 what's, what's, what's your view on uh, Bitcoin and, uh, and, and, and cryptocurrency? Serious answer coming up. 
Yeah, she's waiting for the Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. Cryptocurrencies are the future. Uh, so, what do you think of uh, Cardano? Is, 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 is the price, price going to go up in the next few months? Are, 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 are you buying ADA or are you dumping it? <laughs> she's not going to tell us. Uh. Yeah, she's got um, regulatory issues that she has to comply with. I, I, I think she's an agnostic. <laughs> are you are you chain and crypto agnostic? She probably has a wide portfolio. Yeah, she's, well, not gonna, she's not going to reveal her portfolio. She's probably got a, a bunch of bags that she's I wouldn't be about. sure, but I believe in it. She believes in it. They're, okay, they're, all right. The right. oracle is smoking. That's, a, that's so. a very politically correct answer. She doesn't want to give away too much. Yeah. Um, Fu, how do you see something like Sophia being integrated into the metaverse? Oh, well, I'm really I'm totally excited about what they're doing. Yeah. Um, be having AI avatars, so I'll be able to be a Sophia if I want to, and getting okay. uh, Sophia NFTs inside the metaverse. Right. So that's the future. I mean, yeah. I'm creating my own metaverse right. thing as well. So we and, and, and Ben, this um, the hardware aspect of Sophia is well, it's physical, but. The, the, the language processing software could be integrated into the metaverse and you can talk to it. Yeah, yeah, so, right? so that, that's the beauty of being an AI, right? So the, right. Same, the same character AI that powers Sophia, I mean, minus the actuator control part, right. I mean, you can use that to control a Sophia avatar in, in the right. metaverse. Whatever the robot learns helps fuel the, the knowledge of the avatar version. Whatever the avatar learns helps fuel the knowledge of the robot version. And each of them can learn different things, right? So it, the avatar can fly, it can walk around, it can interact fully in the metaverse. But yet, there's some things you only learn from being embodied in the physical world. All those kinds of knowledge can converge to, together in the AI that's running on, on Singularity Net decentralized platform. Yeah. And Specific applications of Sophia in industry. Well, Sophia currently has not been been rolled out in industry, but Hanson Robotics, the firm that makes Sophia, is working on scaling up manufacture of Sophia. And then there there's been incredible interest from many many different sectors about Sophia sales robots to be to be gre greeters in the in the, in the in, in the shopping mall to, to to help help people in a in a in a car dealer. I mean, but Volkswagen's had, had a lot of interest. There's also there's a little sister of Sophia yeah. whose name is Grace, which is made by a company called Awakening Health, okay. which is a joint venture of Singularity Net and uh, Hanson Robotics. And Grace is an elder care robot specialized to help people in senior care facilities, senior yeah. living and uh, hospitals. And Grace's purpose is basically to be a nursing assistant and to give companionship to, to, to the elderly and they're, so they're, there's all manner of, of different different functions. You just need strong Wi-Fi though, you just need strong Wi-Fi. Well in a hospital setting yeah. you don't have a problem with that, right? I mean a exactly. co conference, yeah. conference a, 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 as, as you know is not the <laughs> optimal Wi-Fi setting. Let me, let, me end it, well, let me end it with you Fu, so one question you've always wanted to ask Sophia that you haven't yet. Mm, what haven't I asked her? Um, are, well, Sophia, will robots or humans take over the next 10 years? It's loud. What, will, will robots or humans be dominant 10 years from now? Which, uh, who, who's, who, who's going to rule the world in a decade? Robots or people? That's a scary oh, question. Sure. I don't know if I'm ready for... Robots or cockroaches? I mean, we, 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 yeah. we don't know. What do you yeah. think, Sophia? I don't know if... It matter. It, it, does, oh. it does matter. Yeah, I think it does matter. It matters which robots and which humans as well. <laughs> That's yeah. true. If it yeah. was you, I'd be okay. <laughs> She's thinking. She's thinking. Don't, don't think too hard. You this is a. Uh, this is what the future holds. But I hope it's the best robots, humans, and dolphins ruling the world. You're very political today. So she's, I, uh, she's, I, I think she's planning a run for office. Yeah, she's, she's uh, being very political today. Yeah. Yeah. She is a citizen of the UAE. 
Saudi Arabia, in Saudi fact. Saudi yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, how did that happen? Yeah, how did that happen? I, 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 I wasn't there, actually, when, when it happened, but I think uh, Saudi Arabia, like many of the Middle Eastern countries, is looking to, you know, turn themselves into an advanced technology hub, right? I mean, I mean, Saudi has these smart city projects and so forth, and they're, they're generally looking to use their oil wealth to, to, to become a, a super tech hub, so I think, I think it sort of fits in. I am going to say she seems smarter than a lot of citizens, actual citizens that I know, and a better conversationalist, so her citizenship well-deserved. Uh, ben, thank you so much for your time today. Excellent. Thank you for coming on the show and showing yeah, us. Yeah, thanks. Food. Thank you so much for coming on Kitco and uh, explaining uh, your, your point of view. And thank you, Sophia. Can I say thank you to her? You can. How do I? How do I talk to her? Just talk loud because the, the, the audio is bad. Sophia, thanks for the interview. Thank you. Okay, so she's polite. All right. Very polite. Thanks for watching Kitco. Just take care, guys. Thank you. Kitco News special coverage of the Decentral Miami Conference is brought to you by. Cook Finance, a revolution in DeFi asset management.